freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. We are currently in Harston. Har Harston, is that what you say? <laughs> Harston in Norwich. Um, it is 20 to eight in the morning. Now, if you know where that is and you know where I'm from, Swindon, you would know that to get here for 20 to eight in the morning, we left pretty early. <laughs> And early we did leave. Um, I left my house at 2.50 a.m. I was in the yard for about 3 a.m. Done some bits and bobs and paperwork. Left the yard about half past three this morning. Yeah. And uh, we're still driving. It's 20 to 8 and we're still driving. We are on four hours and four minutes of driving. So we've done that straight. Non-stop. Haven't stopped once. That's what non-stop means, Luke. <laughs> Um, so we're over four hours driving just to get here and we are pretty much now just around the corner We're a couple of miles away. We've got like concrete blocks on so um, Yeah, they need to be normally they're, they're well, they're either craned off So we've got to keep an eye out for a crane or sometimes they could be taken off with a digger like a small digger oh, I see a crane already just got a glimpse of a crane and That's in the eye in the direction we're going so fingers crossed. That's where where we need to be um, They can be taken off by a digger uh, or even like a teleander as well, like to be taken off. So there's, there's loads of different ways they can be taken off, but um, on big, big sites, or not even, not even big sites, but on, on proper sites, let's say, it's normally a crane, tight, constricted sites, I would say, That's, which is the opposite to big. <laughs> Don't listen to what I'm saying. Um, anyway, we're delivering to Harriston, Harriston, and all the paperwork says, it's got a postcode in the street, so we're heading to that street address and postcode. It just says M&S. So I think it's a new M&S store. I've Googled it, because obviously I do all my research before I drive, and there's nothing I can find regarding M&S in Harleston. Not a new store anyway, there's one in a high street or something, but not on this road that I'm going to. You've got to be careful, because this road, look on Google Maps, if you go too far up, it goes, well, firstly, there's a, there's a road closure, and secondly, the road that isn't closed is way too narrow for a truck by the looks of it. And it's a one-way system. So I can't go too far up as I'm going to get stuck, basically. But hopefully we can come across a site before we get to that point. I do have pinpointed on the sat-nav a destination of which I think it might be. Apparently there's a, there's a care home or there used to be a care home. It might still be there. But on Google, it says offers welcome or something, offers welcomed, which is unusual. Don't normally see that. So I'm assuming that means it's for sale. And I, I reckon they're building the M&S there, I think. That's, that's what we're aiming for anyway. Uh, but if we see a crane, that's also a very good shout. I have seen a crane already, but I can't see it now. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's behind these trees. We're gonna turn left here. We're literally half a mile away. So we're just rocking up. Today it's also going to be interesting because apparently we've got to go to Felixstowe Docks next. Well, that was the plan at least anyway over the weekend. It may have changed, it may have not, I don't know. But apparently they've got strikes on at Felixstowe Docks, so it could be an issue. There's a crane just there, look. And that is roughly where the sat-nav has taken me as well, so I think that is where we're going. That big old yellow crane might be offloading us. Could be, we shall see. Right, we're gonna turn left here because it is essentially a housing estate, is what it looks like. Going into the town centre. That's what I'm saying, if you go too far up here, you go to a single track lane. Uh, we've got a truck there with 
what looks like the same stuff we've got on. Oh, this is a busy site. Well, we've obviously got a queue up behind that truck. Which is empty. No, it's not empty. It's got bags on. Yeah, this is going to be very fun. This is an extremely busy site. The gates are shut, so they're not even open yet. This is definitely a high vis and hard hat site. I don't know if you can see, the gates aren't even open. So we are like here before they open, so can't really expect much more. It's tw just gone 20 to eight. So I reckon they open at eight o'clock. We'll turn the engine off because we are in a residential area. Although it is gone seven o'clock. Normally, if it's after 7 a.m., you can be noisy. Oh, on there, Mike. But yeah, if you go too far up ahead, it goes to a single track road. I have a very sneaky suspicion that to get an Arctic in, you're driving forward and turning right down here, which is very tight as well, and then reversing back. I think that is what's going to be happening. Uh, yeah. All fun and games. Right, I'm going to go see if I can find someone, let them know I'm here. Maybe they'll get me in first and then the Arctic in front. Because Ar that Arctic won't take long to offload. I'll be much longer. See you in a bit. Right, so we are indeed in the right place and that is indeed the crane that's going to be offloading us. There's a rigid just there and there's an Arctic as well that was in front of us. They've not got much to come off. I think the ridge has got three lifts. I think the Arctic has like six lifts, something like that. So there's not much to come off on either of them. And then it's my turn. I do have a lot to come off. Uh, so I will be here for a while. So just to show you what we got, we got all of these. They got to come off individually, so there's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, they are split. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then another 16. So 33 and 16 is 49. So we got 49 lifts. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. They've all gotta be individually taken off by the crane as well. Yeah. Now, the crane won't be solely tipping me either. They'll have other stuff to do. They'll probably pick one off me, take it around to where it needs to go, pick something up from there, and then take it out somewhere else. It's like a, almost like driving a lorry, really. You've got like return loads, but with a crane. So they'll take one, pick something up, take that to where it needs to go, come back to the lorry, pick one up. So yes, go, go, go for the crane driver. I think we're going to be here. Realistically, it's now 10 past eight. We've been here for 20 minutes, not even in yet. I think realistically, if we're out of here before 12, we're lucky, I think. That's what I think, but we'll see. So I'm just at the back of my trailer and I've just spotted the crane. That's more than one he's lifted up at a time. Might be in luck. If he's not going to do them singly, <laughs> Might be in luck. So the situation is, I'm not sure if you can see entirely, but uh, there's cars parked down there on the side, so it's going to be a bit of a tight turn to get on down. Once we do get on down, we've then got to reverse into there and mine the blue van as well. <laughs> so we'll do our best. We'll do our best. We're just waiting for the truck that's already in there to start moving. Once he moves, I will then move and turn right. Right, truck's now coming out, so we can start doing our manoeuvre. We are 100% going to have to go on the kerb to get round. Without hitting the cars, that is what we have to do.
I've been keeping an eye on cars coming. There's uh, quite a few elderly drivers coming out of this estate. Looks like it's not the only way. They could go another way. But without being funny, well, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, elderly drivers are not always the best. Now, I'm not saying every elderly driver. Some elderly drivers are better than young drivers. Are they waving me back? Yeah. But typically, if you get an elderly driver, they'll, uh, they'll struggle with reversing out the way. Don't hit any vehicles. They definitely wouldn't be reversing a 44 ton, 45 feet long vehicle out the way. It's actually probably more than 45 feet. I'm a good this side, mate. I can't see. This side? Yeah, I can't. Straight up this way, mate. Yeah. Bloody well off. Straight in up. We need to go left still. I don't know if you put the trailer straight and I still need to go left. There we go. Oh, I eat it when people start scraping stuff as I'm re reversing. tighter to the right hand side he did say keep tight I need to go a little bit tighter always hoping I'd get it in one go but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case Skip on the left. There we go, straighten up. Right, we've been asked to go forward and angle ourselves to go left. Or we could just run over, run over something. Over to the left. Yeah, the, the lorry in front wants to go in here, I think. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's as far back as I can go. They got the crane. I think that's it. Ending off. 
think that's it. Let's go and have a little look. They're inflating this. I think it's a safety bed in case they fall off. That's what it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that they're more inflated now, but yeah. In case they fall off. It's almost like a couch at the back, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of softer mind. But yeah, safety protection in case they fall off. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before. Obviously, that's what's running it. It's all down this side as well. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Serious now, they've got the red, uh, the red and white tape out. It's getting serious, right? So, we are now just basically sat in the truck. Can't bother, just went outside. It's a bit warm out. Safety beds are up. I'm going to lay on my bed. <laughs> Can't exactly have a snooze, it's quite loud. I don't want to have the windows up because it's quite warm. So, just gonna lay on my bed and uh, chill out. Oh, I can see one being taken up now. So Fingers crossed it won't take too long. From here, we are going straight to Felixstowe, but it's not the docks, docks. I mean, it's not like containers that we're picking up. It's a company within the docks. So fingers crossed they're operating as usual. We're about an hour away. If we left now, we'll be there for 20 to 11. Say we're here for an hour and a bit. Uh, we're looking about 12 o'clock being in, uh, in Felixstowe, which is not too bad. We might be able to make the delivery today in Aylesbury, which is where it's going. We will see. That's, that's you know, it might not happen yet, but. If we can, then we will. All right, it is now 10 to 12. I've been here for quite a while. There's a cream. It's lifting something up now, look. <laughs> like I said earlier, it, it, it doesn't always just take stuff off me. It will have to do other jobs in between, so. Um, I'd say we've probably still got a quarter left. So, yeah. I think we got in about nine o'clock in the end we were in, so it's taking three hours so far. So on that basis, I reckon another hour. Hopefully out of here by one o'clock. We will see. Right, last one is about to come off now. He's just uh, just setting it up now for the crane, for the crane to take it off. And then uh, let me get on out of here. It's quarter past 12. So yeah, by the time that's done, I think they got to move all this out of the way, deflate it. And then we can get going. Hopefully it'll be before half past 12, fingers crossed. And then we can just crack on to Felix Day. And there she goes. Last one coming off. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right. Good to go. I can go back up there. This can go over here. I can go there. I am dying of thirst. <laughs> I had a couple of drinks. Um, cans of Red Bull when I started work this morning. They're very small cans. That is all I've had to drink. I am so thirsty. And I just don't have any drink on me. <laughs> I thought I did, but I don't. So I need to stop at a service station or something and get some drink. That is quite important to do that because I am pretty thirsty. Keep hydrated. Let's get out of this site. That's why I've not got my seatbelt on yet because I need to see to the left. I can see now there is a van coming. Lovely, let's go. Lift axle up. Cool, so our ETA to Felixstowe is just after half past one. So hopefully we can get loaded and then we'll make our way towards Aylesbury. I don't think we're gonna get all the way to Aylesbury to be honest with you. 
might might get there but I suspect it'll be a tip of the morning I think that's what's going to happen we will see um, but yeah we need to stop and get a drink and I also need well I don't need but I've got half a tank of fuel so I've used, used quite a bit of fuel to get here actually because we had just literally just under half a tank before we started this week boss said fill up because uh, the fuel prices were going up and I filled up literally a couple of hours before he said that. So uh, I didn't stop again, <laughs> but it was like halfway during the day, do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I had almost a full tank of fuel, give or take 50 litres. And uh, I'm on half a tank now, so we have used a little bit of fuel getting here. Never mind, never mind. Anyway. It's an hour to Felixstowe. I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. Hopefully we can go straight in. There's no delay and we can get loaded. Fingers crossed. That is the aim. I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully we'll be in and out. Fingers crossed. I just say the dock, the actual dock is shut. <laughs> There's a sign there saying shut. That's why there's no traffic. There's nowhere for them to queue up. They've been sent straight away. We're going right here. I've just seen a truck go in there. And then looking on Google Maps, it looks like we've got to bear around the building clockwise. Brunior. Oh, there is a, there is a queue. We're going to tuck in. Drivers and visitors reception, pull up to white line. Do I just stop here, mate? Yeah, you can do, yeah, if you're yeah, you all right. Go check in. Well, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> Good. So, yeah. Just sort of go right and right again. Basically opposite side of the building. Someone will load us. And go from there. We're loaded, half past two. This is what we have. Salt. Got 20 pallets. That's gonna go to Aylesbury. We need to do some calculations in the truck. By the way, this end of sweat. I got hot, so I decided to go to the toilet, put a load of water on my head. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to jump in the truck now, do some calculations, work out whether we can actually get to Aylesbury or not before six, because we need to be parked up by six. And if we get there just before six, we need to find out if they will actually tip us and can we stay there for the night. So that's what we're going to do. I will see you en route or maybe even when we get there uh, to explain to you what we've done soon a bit. Ah, oh, scooter! <laughs> I do like those scooters. I went on one the other day, didn't I? The other week. It was amazing. Right. Situation report. So, we can work until literally just after six o'clock. It is currently 25 to six. So we got to stop working in about 30 minutes. We're only five minutes away from our destination. We're gonna go straight there and try and get tipped. Well, we, we should get tipped. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's whether we've got enough time to get back out again or not. That is the question. In fact, we come to a stop now. This will allow me to do a printout. And then I can read that in a sec. Once we come to a stop, it'll already be uh, done. Unless I can read it before we start going. Uh, yeah, six minutes. Six minutes past three we started. So we've got until six minutes past six to be parked up. Now, there should be a lay-by coming up on the right hand side which is where I'm hoping to park fingers crossed uh, this is not 
good. Have they closed the lay-by off? Doors are open. Oh, okay. No, it's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those cones made it look like it was closed off. There's no one parked there. There's someone camping there, mind you, with a stove on. <laughs> So, we're hoping to park in here. We're hoping to park in here. We've got, um, not long. I think we might go over. The trouble is, some of you might be saying, oh, I'll just park up for the night, deliver it in the morning. I've been told it cannot be delivered in the morning. It has to be delivered today. Because there's no one there tomorrow. Which means, if we don't get it off, then it's on the trailer all day, we're, we're parked up. So, that will not be good. But I've also been told there's two forklifts there waiting for us, so they should be able to get it off in 10 minutes, that's the aim. The aim is to rock up, take 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Get it offloaded. Uh, that leaves me then 10 minutes to get back. I only need two minutes to get back. Because it's literally here, and we're literally just going down here. So, fingers crossed. As long as we leave by 6 o'clock, we should be alright. They give us 20 minutes to be tipped. Should be good. Should be good. So, right now, <laughs> I forgot my strap winder. So, right now, I am struggling to keep up. Uh, it's quarter to six. My GoPro died on the way in. It's on charge, so I can put it back on on the way out. And uh, yeah, this way we're going to be out of here in five minutes, I reckon. We'll be out of here by six. I think uh, I'll still be rolling these up <laughs> when they finish. So they're, they're definitely on it. I wish I brought my strap winder. Trouble is, it's on on my trailer, my other, my flatbed that I normally pull, so it's a bit awkward having to hand wrap them all and hold them all, but it is, it is what it is. Right, we're tipped. 17.52, can you see that? So, <laughs> we've got 14 minutes to park up. Put it in reverse. Lovely jubbly, let's get on out of here. Thank you, mate. That's the pallets in front that we've just tipped off. They've <laughs> literally dumped them on the side of the truck so I can get off quicker. But obviously, because I had to roll everything up as well, by the time I rolled it all off, all up, they'd taken it all off the truck. So, yeah. But they've done that very quick. Literally pulled up at quarter two. So, seven minutes. They got me fully tipped in seven minutes. Why can't all places be like that, man? <sighs> anyway, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. We're going to go to that lay-by. Now, we actually need to turn right. We need to go back towards Swindon. But this lay-by is closer, and I know it's empty, because I've already passed it. And uh, in the morning, I can just go out of it. It's quiet enough, I can just go out of it and turn right. If it's not, if it's too busy, I can just go down to the roundabout and turn around. Whereas if I turn right and go to the next lay-by down there and it's full, then I'm going to go over my time. End of story. So, plus also, it was a bit of a pain getting in here because no one wanted to let me in. <laughs> Coming the other way, traffic. So it's probably easier to go left out of here anyway. There's nothing coming on the left. Straight out. Whereas if I had to go right, actually, I would have made a lot. <laughs> I would have made a right turn as well. Huh. Right, let's get to this lay-by. Six minutes past six we can work till. 
1754. We've got 10 minutes. No, 12 minutes. It's going to count. Yeah, we're going to make it. It's, it's literally two minutes away. If I get stopped in traffic lights, we're talking five minutes. I think we'll, we'll be parked up before six o'clock. Easily. We'll be parked up in the next four minutes. Six minutes. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. 15 hour shift. Leave me alone. Whew. Well, three minutes of driving time, so we plenty of driving time. Well, how much driving time have we done today? This this daft doesn't tell me I've got to manually work out or do a printout, but I did four hours and ten minutes earlier to get to the first drop. That was about an hour and ten to get to the second, so that's five twenty. And then three hours. So we're talking eight twenty, so we're on less than nine. Right, we're going left here. This is home for the night. There's someone camping down there, so I don't want to get I don't want to get too close to them. Oh, and there's a bloody burnt out thing there as well. Is that a, that's a burnt out caravan. Well, it's not going to relight, is it? I don't think. Relight my fire. I just want to stay away from the camping down there. Um, I don't know if they know their reverse lights are on or not, but they are. Anyway, we're done. Oh, what a day. What a day. 15 hours, 3 a.m. start, 6 a.m. finish. Give or take 10 minutes. Yeah, boy. Anyway, that is trucking. Tomorrow, I don't even know what time we're starting tomorrow. We've got to go to Aston Down Airfield, drop this trailer off. You're not going to see it. Actually, will you see it? You, you. I don't think you're going to see it. It's a bit, it's a pretty boring run tomorrow, to be honest. So, yeah, you won't see it. But I just want to know now, before you go, what time I'm going to be there. Or rather, how long it takes to get there from here. Because it's got to be, it's got to be a two hour drive, surely. I'll have to redo it in the morning because there's traffic, but yeah, one hour 45. And they opened at seven, so. I'm to, yeah, I'll be starting at five tomorrow morning. So it's six now. So it'll be 11 hours, well, it's three minutes to six. So if I start at five tomorrow, then that'll be 11 hour rest. So 11 hours off and back on, back on the work again. And then I'll be there 15 minutes before they open. I can swap the trailers. And then when by the time I've done that, they'll be open and I can get loaded. That's the plan for tomorrow. Any hey, any hey, any way. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget, I do have merch. So probably popping up now or in a second. But if you want to go buy some merch that I've designed, feel free to go purchase them. Uh, would very much appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.